تغير المعيشه بزاف الدول المعيشه بلا الدول راه ما كاينش ما كاينش ورا تفرج حتى شت الفازه ورا تفرج الفيديو ورا تفرج كل The impact of not having energy relates to medication, to medicine, storage of medicine related to water purification. It also relates to agriculture. If you have uh, energy, you can pump water for drip irrigation and so forth. Living without electricity makes everything more difficult. You don't have any powered water wells and of course you can't refrigerate the food. And any kind of farming or manufacturing activity must be done with manual or animal labor. It diminishes their quality of life because so much of your time, your daily routine is occupied by providing this energy for yourself that it leaves you very little time to do anything else that's productive. These countries remain poorer and when they remain poorer, they then have less money to invest in other environmentally uh, conscious activity. But life goes on. They still have to have light at night and they still need to cook their meals. The family owns two gas-fired lamps. One in the main room where the family sleeps. The other is in the cooking area, where it casts a light on one of the gravest problems of living without modern sources of energy. Almost half of the world's population cook food on open fires indoors, usually with wood or animal dung, because they don't have electricity or gas. This results in respiratory illnesses, and it is a major global problem. The World Health Organization estimates that in Africa, indoor smoke from solid fuels are responsible for around half a million deaths every year. Globally, almost two million die. And the horribly sad truth is that half of those who die are children. 